All right, good afternoon to everyone. You're welcome. This is Betty Muhaye. I'm a student at Uganda Christian University. I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in mass communication and journalism. And uh, today I would like us to talk about something very interesting that is a time for everything. In most cases, we see people striving for things and if they see someone is blessed and they are not, they end up encroaching on other people's blessings. In not knowing that, in the end, we have to wait for our own time. So today we are going to look at that as a topic of discussion. And I pray the Lord blesses you through it. Uh, when we read uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verses 1 to 11, it tells us that there is a time for everything. So if at times you see something is not adding up, maybe it is not its time. Now, for instance, the birth of Jesus was announced some time before he was born. Uh, we see in Isaiah chapter 7 verses 14, the angel told Isaiah to tell the Israelites that a son will be born and the sign that will be there to show will be Emmanuel, meaning God with us. And we see this coming to fulfillment in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke, then John. So if you are really pressed that maybe something is not working out for you, just wait on God because he is a God of time. When you look at the scenario of Abraham, Abraham did not have a child. He married Sarai and they took so many years together without an offspring. But the angels of the Lord visited him in uh, Genesis 18. But when you read verses 10, the Bible tells us that the angel told Abraham that I will come back this time next year when your, when your wife Sarah has a son. And so Abraham remained faithful. He waited upon the Lord's time. And indeed it came to pass. So, dear friends, if there is anything you may be going through and you feel rejected, you feel down, most especially now the students who are at school, you may see money is not there, but then just hold on, keep in there. Know that God is faithful. He who began with you will see you to the end. And maybe let me share some small thing about myself. In uh, 2009, I did my senior six, but in 2010, I joined UC Mbali. But then the course that I wanted is not what I did. I wanted journalism, but here they gave me entrepreneurship. So I was there for one year, but I believe it was not the right time for me to do that. Because I had already told God that if I'm to go to university, I want to do this particular course because I had my own reasons. So after one year down the road, the money wasn't there. I had to sit home. Just imagine, I waited for God from 2009 up to 2021. So I did not think of any other thing, but I said, let me wait for God. Since he promised that he is going to do this for me, let me wait for him. So many people discouraged me. They told me go get married because they saw no hope. But in me, I knew that God had set a particular time for me when everything will come to fulfillment. So patiently, I waited on him. And here I am, one year to go. So you may be going through a challenge today as a student or as a person and you're complaining you're like my time is not coming god is not blessing me maybe this is not pushing through just remember that he is a god who works on time when lazarus died he left him to die actually they told jesus that your friend lazarus is sick but he stayed and he only came after four days lazarus had been buried but you know what? When Jesus set in, he called Lazarus out of the grave. And four days later, he came to life. So you may be there saying, it is 
done with me because no one wants to help you out. But remember, when Jesus comes, even if it is four days late, he will still be on time. So I encourage you out there, no matter what you're going through, no matter what challenges you are facing, remember he is a God of time. He is a faithful one and he will never forsake you. I pray that the Lord will surely bless you. And let me leave you with this. Read Ecclesiastes 3 verses 11. The Lord says, everything is made perfect in its own time. May you be blessed. Thank you so much.